in this video we're going to be making a new enclosure for my um, African land snails called Swell and Candy Floss. Okay, cool. I hope you like this video. Yeah. Right, okay, we're video now. Okay, so this is the new tank we've got. And it's a Zoomed. Oh, I've lost the little label, I've taken the labels off. Zoomed, Zoomed rep, creature thing or whatever. Okay, we'll take the lid off. So it's a much, much bigger tank than what they're in, which is a large size, leave it there, sorry. Large size um, breeding box. Okay, Charlotte, we're gonna pour this in. This is all the soil that's going in there. So some of this stuff we'll put in afterwards. Well, it might be better if we tip it in. Yeah. So there's bits of rotten wood that I've put in here, white rotten wood. Pour, pour it in. Yeah, just pour it in. I think that should be enough. Okay, stop that. Spread that out a bit. So we're sort of thinking we might end up with some ice pods in here, so we want to have. This is nice. I like the soil. It's really, really like. What's the depth like? Oh yeah, that's, that's not too bad. This side will be a little bit higher than the other. We've found that they like to burrow quite a lot, our two. Yeah, so you put lots and lots of soil in. Dad, I think we need more soil. We need more soil. Yeah, we take, what we tend to do is, we're going to make this bioactive to a certain degree with springtails and maybe some, well, I think we will, I think I'll be getting some isopods from Simon. Uh, Mantis Garden. This is going to be the hot corner. We've got the heat mat ready in here. I think the water bowl should be about here and then the food bowl at the same place. So then if they're hungry and they're fasting, if they're hungry fast, then they don't have to go anywhere else to get the drink as well. So it's easy just to eat fast and drink at the same time. Up a little bit more around there as well. I think that, that uh, knowing what they're like, that's a corner they'll go to. Yeah, I know, they'll just go up and double and go. And then, Maybe yeah. having something to stop them from being able to flatten it up. Put that in the corner and I think it's a hard top. Yeah, that looks good. So then if it gives them, can't they might, go under there? Yeah, but that then might they trap some heat as well. But then if they want to, like, still want to be close to the heat map, but they're not going boiling, they can go here. But if it's like really hot days, you know, you've got This is a nice piece as well, isn't it? Right. So this is the front view anyway. So I think having that where we can see it, like this, might be good. Yeah, and also they can climb around. There's loads of springtails on this already. Wait, what about the slug? That's not on the slug. This no. is. We don't want the slug. We've got a slug. Keep just appearing. Yeah, I think it's in the um, soil that we use because we use it from like. That's a nice piece of wood. wood. That's, that's rotten but not white wood. I think they could have like their own pit because I, if I know Swell, Swell likes to go have her own personal space. Yeah. While Candy Floss over here loves to spread out. It's up to you if you want to use shells. We've got to put all the leaves in first. I just put that there to cover the heat. It's like their own little house and then their play area, like backyard. There you are. And then they've got their. Let's pull that in, that's like a leaf for them. Oh, we can spread those out now. Wait, where's the water bowl? Take it out because we've got a bit full of leaves. We have discovered in the past that they seem to eat the leaves. We've actually seen them eating the leaves. Yeah, and eggshell, as we've seen. Yeah. But also, ice pods like leaves. They like. These are mainly beech leaves, I think. Beech leaves? Just beech leaves? I think um, 
swirl will go over here because that's where. Put it right in the corner. Isn't it? I think like swirl would want to go here where there's like space to go and dig. If you put it in the corner, then it's not like wasted space around the side. Okay. And then there's less chance of them knocking over. Swirl will dig. Swirl will dig. Well, you want to soak it quite a lot, don't we? Can we use this. You can use that. I'll use this. I forgot to put the water in first, I like to put the water in first before the substrate, so there's water at the bottom. Yeah, Dad, you really forgot. Yeah, nice and wet. Is it water in the box? Water, water, water. Wow, it's very, very wet. They like oak leaves as well, but put that at the back somewhere. Ice pods like oak leaves. Yes, yeah, it's um... Do that at the back. Right, okay. Um, Should we add the snails? Yeah. Hey. yeah. This is Candy Floss. She's holding an eggshell right now. The eggshells are an experiment we've just tried today. We've tried, I think I've tried them on eggshells before. Normally they have. No, you uh, haven't. Oh, okay, apparently. But I've got this new tool that takes the eggshells off in a little nice it round top like that. Circle. I thought I'd make it a sort of snail water bowl, but she's been munching on it already. As you can see, there might be, you can see a little crack, so I'm going to put her in with my eggshell because she's mad okay, at me. Go on then. There we go. Where's swirl? That's the dry food bowl. Yeah. And then swirl, hello, my girl. Swirl's actually our new one. We only got her a month ago, I guess? Yeah, she's a dwarf African land snail. Doesn't get that much bigger than this. So she's, she's nice small. So if you're after a land snail that's a bit on the smaller side, this is the one to get. Yeah. It's like a starter, but we didn't use this as our starter. We used the African ginormous one. Yeah. So, okay. And that's it. Right. Now you need to get some food. Charlotte's just showing us how she mixes her snail's dry food. So you should put this um, this type of food. This one is banana chunk, chunky banana and nettle food. Yeah. And then I usually add this is rabbit food. Yeah, that's Daddy's special rabbit food mix. Yeah. Oh, too much in there, Amber. There's loads in there. Okay. I usually put quite a bit, so then yeah. I don't. A few seeds. Oh yeah, I usually add seeds in there to like, because it's kind of like nutrients, it's really tasty for them. Yeah. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. So that'll do. And then that's it. Put that in where it's going. It's gonna go... Okay. And then you need a piece of... Uh... Seed. What should we get then? Okay, so we've forgotten what it's called. We're calling it squid bones. Courgette. Courgette for their food. Nope. Cotton candy's already exploring. Yeah. And so is Swirl. Just put this down. We only put it in for like a day and then next the next day we will like take it away because we don't want to give them too much. They, the calcium they seem sometimes it seems they get obsessed and they might certainly um candy floss sometimes glues herself to the squid bone. Literally. And, and won't eat any food and just sits on it for like two or three days without doing anything else. So we have to take it away so we, yeah, we, away. we don't like to give them too much because I, I don't think it's good for them to have too much. Yeah, it's kind of like chocolate to, to people, but it's calcium. Yeah. So they, they get plenty of calcium, but we just think they, sometimes they get too much. Yeah. Might be wrong. Oh, yeah. That's why I named her as well, because she's very smart. So she's going to be exploring around here for a little while now. And then she'll probably at the end go to that side. And Candy Floss is getting near the water bowl. I think she likes this eggshell. Yeah, she loves it. When I took it away from her, she was like, 
doing it. It's all back. Well, she's not had a fresh cuttlefish bone. That's it, not squid bone. Cuttlefish bone. Oh. She's not had a fresh one for about a week, so she might go and blue herself for that now. Oh no, please don't. But, uh, yeah, this is the finished sort of product at the moment. Things change, obviously, and we went into the mice pods as well. Yeah. We were just like looking through to find this ginormous worm that we have in this enclosure. Here's the worm. Here's the worm. And Hang on, let me show the worm. Yes, worm, worm. This is the worm. It, well, I don't know. It doesn't seem as big as last time, does it? Yeah, I think that's a different one. I think the worm has multiplied. But, well, there was because there was a small one as well. We put that in here as well. It's gone. There it is. No. So this might be a baby of that worm. Or they both are babies. <laughs> didn't like me doing that, did it? Anyway, so that's the worm that lives in there. And then we were digging, and I saw this yellow thing, and I recognised, and I saw, and I thought it was an egg. And I kept on searching, and I found another four. So we've got five eggs that we didn't know about. And I'm um, freaking out. So they have to be snail eggs, but we've never seen snail eggs before. So we don't like where we go We don't want snail eggs. <laughs> The reason we've got two different species in here is we don't want thousands of snails. We just wanted a, a giant African land snail, which we got there, candy floss. Mm -hmm. And this was a special birthday treat for this year. And this tank is part of that treat, really. But we don't. We want snails that can't breed. But I knew, I do know that they can do it on their own. Is it called a love dart or something that they fire? So that's probably what candy floss has done. We decided to have some eggs. So I don't want I'm going to find out from my friends what to do with these eggs, whether anybody wants them or whether we should, what we should do with we them. We should sell them first and then if nobody well, wants I, them, then we'll freeze them to death. Well, I know that you get rid of them by either freezing them or crushing them and putting them back in, the snails eat them. Anyway, a bit interesting that we've got some nice eggs. <coughs> Thanks for watching our little snail video and if you choose to get some snails, Hopefully you enjoy them. And this is where they live in my room. Bye. Bye.